Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at the Macefit Power Buds. These are TWS wireless buds from the company that is more well known for making smartwatches, so this is kind of a curious product for them. And it's been on the market for a while now, but I was curious to see whether it performs well, so we're taking a closer look at it today. Now in terms of functionality, it is one of the more unique pair of buds that you can find at the moment, primarily because these also have a optical heart rate monitor built into these buds. So you can wear them and it can detect your continuous heart rate as you are running, jogging, or performing a sport and sync that information over to the companion application called ZEP. Use this as an alternative to a smartwatch. They have kind of a modular magnetic clip that you can attach to add an additional hook on the design to make them more secure when you are performing vigorous sports and activities since Amazfit really is well known for their again smartwatches and sports oriented devices this is really no exception and it's even stored inside of the battery case when you aren't using it which is pretty clever it has also a auto in your detection so it will pause the music when you remove them and it will resume the music when you pop them back in claim to have these composite diaphragm drivers which should secure pretty dynamic sound and even has a ultra bass mode that can pump up the lower frequency sounds like bass when you're in a workout to get you more energized which is a pretty neat concept that you can change in the app and it also has a ambient mode as well so you can have a transparency audio effect you can hear what's going on around you without even removing these from your ears although they don't have active noise cancellation in terms of battery life the buds themselves last for around eight hours per charge and then with the battery case combined you get around 24 hours when on the road last but not least comes in black as well as white and kind of a yellowish tone as well that you can customize and pick between so here's the packaging here it's quite simple and similar to their other smart watches we've seen in the past the specs here are printed again on the side now by the way in terms of the chipset that they're using it supports audio codecs like SBC and AAC although there isn't support for Qualcomm's aptX also the price point for these are pretty competitive I have to say they sell for under 80 bucks the cost here is actually quite attractive if you're looking for something that's more sports oriented so inside the packaging here we have of course the buds right on top I've already tried these out but just showing you guys what it looks like when you first remove them uh, underneath this flap you also can have access to the user manual presented very well and there's also the charging cable which is using USB type C one of the longer cables I've seen bundled with a pair of buds as well and in the middle here we have the adjustable silicon tips to get a more snug fit so taking a closer look at the design of the battery case here it's constructed out of a soft touch rubber material which makes it feel very grippy and resistant to fingerprints as well as smudges there's also a LED light on the front which will illuminate when you pop the door open and the buds will basically automatically start connecting with your phone or device very quick and on the back here we also have just the type c port there for charging so very clean presentation the battery case's size is not too bulky either for a pair that has a hook design that you can attach so here it is next to regular airpods and you can see that it's really not much larger than that still it is super easy to put into a pocket compared to say the aforementioned Powerbeat Pros, uh, which you can see are just <laughs> dramatically larger. And I mentioned this because the Powerbeat Pros have this hook, which just like the Amazfit Power Buds can also be attached for some added security when you are doing vigorous movements. But this one here is just much more compact and basically a folding design. Connecting this using the app is also really quick for the first time. All you need to do is open up the door and tap on this middle key here for three seconds. The light here will start to flash and then you'll be able to find it on the companion app called Zep. The same one that's used on their smartwatches and under your devices. You can add, again, the buds pretty easily just by tapping there, uh, but we've already paired ours. And in our case, we can also see how much battery life is left on the left side the right side as well as in the case itself uh, every time when the buds are connected. In terms of settings, we're able to change what the taps can do. So by default, tapping two times on the right side will turn on the ambient transparency audio mode. Two more times will turn it off. And you're also able to do things like play and pause your music by tapping three times. Uh, however, as you can see here, one function that is missing would be volume. So you can't turn the volume higher or lower directly on the buds. That is something I would like to see added to the software, but since there is the software companion app, doing so should be quite simple. Uh, if they 
collected that feedback. Now in terms of the customization, you can tap on it to again change what tapping twice or three times can do. In terms of the equalizer, this does make a difference and it is a pretty neat effect that you can tweak around and play with in terms of changing the various aspects of the music. There's a custom EQ that you can adjust yourself or go through different presets. As you can see there, popular will be a V-shaped sound signature. Dance Hero, as you can see there, will emphasize maybe the bass a little bit more. Others might emphasize the vocals, the mids and the trebles a bit more. So you can tweak this to really get the best sound depending on the music that you're listening to. A very thoughtful touch. Under workout settings, here's where you're able to adjust and turn on the motion beat mode. This is the added bass mode when you are exercising and it will just bump up that lower frequency automatically on all the tracks you're listening to. And the second one is for the heart rate monitoring. You have to turn this on if you want to use the heart rate function. We'll talk about the performance and the heart rate in more detail later, but for now returning just to the buds, uh, we can see that the casing again is very compact and the hooks are just cleverly attached onto the very top segment magnetically. Here's a closer look inside of the branding info and the buds themselves are again are magnetic, so they also attach uh, very securely, don't really fall loose or anything like that and are easy enough to remove. They are also quite distinctive for having this slightly gradient finish. It has a darker red in the middle and then small micro dots extend outwards to make it more of a subtle shade of black so it looks very interesting as you point it across the light and definitely sets it apart from the crowd overall the size of the buds are decent they're not the smallest that i've ever tried but for something that has additional sensors and pretty good eight hour battery life overall i would say it's fair it doesn't feel too uncomfortable when i was wearing it uh, in my uh, ears and just running around with it. You can always add the hook, by the way, to support more of the weight, and that can get you some added comfort as well. So you can see a slight blinking light here. This is the ambient proximity sensor, so that can detect if you're wearing the buds or not. And when you pop these out, basically the music will automatically pause for you, which is pretty neat. The parts which are in contact with your skin are actually made out of rubber, so it adds some extra resistance. This slight latch is actually the magnetic part for attaching the hook, so you can just pop it on like this, don't fall loose or anything like that and again this will provide some extra resistance uh, to support the weight and also really prevent these from getting lost if you shake your head around. When it comes to the audio quality and performance, the Amazfit Power Buds also really didn't disappoint considering this is the company's first foray into an audio accessory. It actually sounds quite well balanced and uh, in particular the mids and bass definitely sound the best. There's a nice rumble and kick as you're listening to a lower frequency, but at the same time doesn't really disturb or distract from the mids and trebles, which still sounded quite good to me, uh, especially in the mids and trebles did still have plenty of detail that I was able to pick up, didn't sound too tinny or distorted and everything for the most part sounded clean without any hints of hissing, humming, or anything like that apart from just the music itself. So pretty clean and pure, which is great. If I'm going to be super nitpicky, but even though I shouldn't be since these are again still very affordable buds at the end of the day, uh, maybe the trebles could have a slight more detail or sparkle to them um, if you're comparing them with more expensive or audiophile grade pairs of headphones, but at the end of the day I think for this price range they already sound excellent. Now when it comes to the aforementioned heart rate monitoring that really is the star feature or at least the distinguishing feature here after you're connected and opened up the zep app all you need to do is go into this main menu and then swipe up from this little bar and this will reveal all the sports and activities that you can track and begin manually on the app so from here if we want to do something like let's say walking and what you'll be able to see is not only your geolocation but as well as the device that you're currently connected to and using for tracking so right now it's says heart rate is being collected using our Amazfit power buds, as you can see there, and I can deactivate other wearables if I also have other Amazfit devices. And then if I tap on start to begin that session, the heart rate data, as you can see there, will now be populated, and this is used via the power buds that I'm wearing in my ears right now as we're making this video. Accuracy of the heart rate measurement is also quite good. Compared to other wearables, you can see it was pretty much par on par with what I got. Uh, of course, this is continuous, so it will keep on fluctuating as we're talking. My heart rate might increase a little bit if I calm down. 
it will start to decrease. But for the most part, the accuracy versus one of their smartwatches, I really didn't find any discrepancies between. So pretty good. And you can also be listening to music as well during the session, by the way. So you can do music as well as tracking. Of course, the biggest question you have to ask yourself, though, is whether or not this is redundant depending on your needs. If you already have a smartwatch that has an optical heart rate monitor, maybe something like this wouldn't provide too much extra value for you. But if you don't currently have a smartwatch or if you want to travel lighter without wearing something on your wrist, this is going to give you that alternative while being able to play back music. So it could be still worth considering. And again, the fact that it's under $80 means it's not really any different in terms of price to a ordinary pair of buds anyways. So if you think about it that way, why not add an extra feature? When everything is done, when you want to charge up the buds again, you can just pop these back into the case. Again, it's magnetic, so the hooks also are very easy to pop in and to remove. Pretty clever overall design, I have to say. So that's more or less it as far as our quick review of the Amazfit Power Buds. Again, one of the most distinctive and unique pair of TWS buds I've seen on the market due to the ability for you to track your heart rate as well as have a magnetic detachable hook that can make them extra secure for outdoor activities and sports. Sound quality for the most part also isn't a compromise. It does sound very good, full of bass, very clean sounding and enjoyable for listening to music and even for watching videos on YouTube or Netflix didn't really encounter any lag or delay or the left or right sides certainly never got out of sync with each other which is great of course it's missing perhaps a low latency mode so it doesn't have a gaming mode per se but for things like just listening to music exercise watching videos you'll be perfectly fine here uh, so again a very strong value I have to say at this low price point and again could be useful if you want something that has that distinctive built-in heart rate measurement function you can learn more details if you're interested but for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at OS reviews that's been the Amazfit Power Buds.